What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling great today. So, for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really does mean a lot to me, Cancer, and it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. Now, the purpose of this channel for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on a situation and everything will be amazing, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. <clears throat> Your space has been cleansed. Gems, feeling lovely. Just good energy all around here, Cancer. Now, Cancer, I guess first off, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hope you are feeling good today. Hope we got you know, any, any exciting plans and whatnot. And you know, this is good energy to, uh, for Valentine's Day because the moon is still in Sagittarius. And with the moon in Sagittarius, the emotions are going to be joyful and exploratory. You're going to be feeling just optimism, just, just through the roof. You know, this is just a good time to just kind of be out and just be just joyful, Cancer. But keep in mind, Cancer, even though, you know, I know Valentine's Day is a lovely day to, you know, spread love and whatnot. We should be spreading love 365, you know, like, you know, let this one, I guess let today be like, you know, just extra doses of love and compassion today. <laughs> and then the moon is in a, still in a last quarter phase. So this is about, you know, letting go and tearing down any old structures so that we can make way for new stuff here, Cancer. Very, very King of Wands energy here. Look at you. And Sagittarius, look at you. Oh, it's going to be a lovely day. <laughs> but lastly, Cancer, the decks that I'm using. This one is a Wandering Moon Tarot deck. It's a Chariot and Friends exclusive. And then the other deck that I'm going to be using is the Anatomy of a Witch Oracle deck. And I'll include links for these decks and other decks that I like using down in the description box below. So uh, check that out if you're interested, Cancer. <clears throat> All right. But let's get into the general energy of the day, which is the King of Wands. And you know, Cancer, I like that this popped up because, you know, if we're... If we're thinking about love today, you know, which why wouldn't we be, you know, maybe this is something where if we've been nervous about maybe asking someone on maybe going on a date or, you know, if we've, I, I feel like that, you know, this is energy is asking us to kind of be bold, you know, be calculated, but, you know, take that steps, you know, get a game plan and then follow through, you know, because the King of Wands, he's the type that, and, and keep in mind too, Cancer, this isn't a gender specific reading. You are all definitely King of Wands, especially when the moon moons and Sagittarius because this is Sagittarius's card and you know cancer I feel like too you know uh, you know now I'm, now I'm on a love kick if we're since you know if we're if we've been feeling in this place of maybe feeling kind of isolated maybe we've been feeling a little lonely you know I say get out there cancer because Sagittarius energy is it's very you know, it's very social. It can be very optimistic, you know, very light, very playful type of fun energy. And, you know, I think that this is a good time, you know, to really, even if this is not in love, you know, maybe just getting out there, Cancer, and just having a little fun today. You know, maybe even treating yourself for, um, treating yourself for a date, you know, get, get something planned for yourself, you know, maybe, maybe go out for a lovely dinner for your, with yourself tonight if we're, if we're single, for example, or, you know, maybe set yourself up like a nice, lo lo lovely little bubble bath or, you know, candles, whatever, Cancer, you know, I feel like treat yourself because I feel like too, you know, Valentine's Day, you know, where I do like the idea of like celebrating our, you know, um, our, our partners and whatnot. You know, sometimes I think too, like, do we, have we taken time to celebrate ourselves as well, Cancer? You know, um, 
I feel like Valentine's Day would be a lovely kind of day just for like like international like self-love day. Like everybody, you know, nothing. Take a break from your partners and just focus on you today. You know, buy yourself the gifts that you want. If you want flowers, get flowers. You know, really kind of like treat yourself kind of day. But, you know, I do feel like today is definitely one that I think can be geared towards love, even not even in like a romantic sense too. You know, I think that this can be something as well where we can maybe think about, maybe we can meet up with some friends, you know, have like, um, have kind of like the last quarter, you know, maybe tear down some old ways of operating, you know, maybe Valentine's Day doesn't necessarily have to be just for couples, you know, we can make this like a, like a, um, because I heard what, they, don't they have like a Galentine's Day where it's like all your girl, while well, the, all the ladies meet up and have like a, like a girl's night out, you know, but let's do something like that. Let's have like a, I, I, I don't have anything clever at the moment right now, cancer, but like a friend's equivalent of a Valentine's Day, you know, I think that this can be something where the love doesn't have to stop with the partner, you know, that's where, that's just where the, I'm, I'm getting at with all this energy here popping up, but you know, let's see what are some ways that we can work with this energy, you know, this is, uh, I didn't think that I was going to be, stay on the Valentine's like kick, and I don't think that well, we'll see where this energy goes. Oh. Oh, okay. And seeing where the energy goes, Cancer. You know, <laughs> it looks like it is going to go for that, Cancer. I feel like that this is going to be a good time with the three of moons popping up in reverse. You know, I think that it, they're... Cancer, is there anyone that you haven't reached out to in a while? Or maybe there's some, like, family that we haven't hung out with or... Something like that, you know, I feel like that, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be today, Cancer, but I feel like maybe trying to maybe get like a game plan, you know, maybe this week or, you know, in the, in the time to come, you know, maybe starting to kind of reconnect with some, maybe some it can be with, you know, family members. It can, again, it can be with friends. You know, however this looks, you know, maybe we even want to, maybe some of us, like if we're, if we're real tight in with like our coworkers at work, this is like a work family, you know, maybe doing something together for your work, um, your coworkers as well. But, you know, I really do feel like that the energy, at least so far, is kind of leaning towards like a you know, kind of like communicating our feelings and, you know, really, you know, maybe expressing like, you know, gratitude for these people, you know, that they have in our lives. And I really feel like, oh, cancer, this is going to be a lovely day because I really feel like we can even make, take Valentine's Day and just take it, make it just a lot of this a little more deeper, you know, make it, make it pass because it's, it's so commercialized how, you know, they'll, they'll start putting Valentine's Day stuff up in like November and it's just like, what are we doing? You know, <laughs> like it, it just, it, it becomes a great aggressive and you know I think that it's we can get into this place where today can be because I think sometimes today too you know I feel like that sometimes if we think that we aren't in love that there's not a reason to celebrate you know or that okay this is just another day you know like while all the other couples are just out being happy and whatnot I'm just gonna do my thing you know you know what whatever, whatever whatever happy couples but I really do think that we can we can take we can use this energy cancer or take that instead of pouring it into like oh well I'm all alone while I'm all this maybe go Maybe see if there's some ways that maybe we can go do some like volunteering if that's your jam, you know, maybe connecting with the community more, you know, that might be something too to think about, you know, do just, I feel like there's so many different ways to practice love cancer and, and who better to do it than, than us cancer, you know, like maybe Pisces, Pisces, Pisces is a, uh, they, they're very romantic too, but come on cancer, you know, just water signs, you know, we really can, we can, we can do it cancer. So I think that this is a good time to just, just, just spread some love and some compassion around here. I think that would be very nice thing to do. Very, very King of Wands thing to do today. Let's see what are some other ways we can work with the energy here. Oh, Cancer, I love this. And this is going to be a first, Cancer, because I've, I've never been, I don't think, more excited to see the sun in reverse. Because this is what I mean. You know, I feel like that some people think that today, if they're not in a relationship, that 
the sun isn't shining, you know, that they're, that they've lost, that they don't feel, that they're not going to find happiness, that, you know, whatever, whatever negative type of thing, Cancer. And I think that this can be an opportunity for, for you, Cancer, you know, to bring some sunshine into some people's world, because I love, you know, this has been something here recently, you know, that when the sun's been popping up in reverse, you know, I've been feeling that this just gives gives us an opportunity to shine some light on something. You know, if anything, this this is just like a this this is just like um like a clear beacon of just like, oh, I'm a, I'm in I'm I'm I can be of service. You know what I mean? I can help spread some spread some joy, give bring some hope into this world here. And I would I mean, what better energy, you know, when I think of Sagittarius energy as opposed to that that, ex, that very expansive type of energy, you know, let's take let's take this love cancer and the sunshine and just spread this around for everyone to feel here, you know, and two, cancer, we've been feeling alone in this thing, you know, it can we can even because this is something where I I just I'm finishing up the the love readings or they're just starting to roll out this week, and I've been thinking about even changing how the love readings go to be more so kind of geared towards like self love as opposed to looking out because I feel that when we focus on ourselves you know when we really really pour love within and and learn to love ourselves unconditionally, the good and the bad, and to give them both a place for healing and whatnot, then we become a magnet for, for, for sunshine, for happiness, for all of this. We can spread that a lot around because people see that and they're wondering like, Cancer, how did you get all this sunshine? It's just like, here, let me, let me share some, let me share a little, little with you there. You know, this kid, oh, Cancer, look at you. You're just raising the vibration. Look at you. You can raise that vibration to the sun. You know, this is, this is excellent, Cancer. Let's get into, let's see what are some challenges that might come up with working with this energy here, Cancer. Let's see what, what's work coming out there. I think we should all do this, Cancer. I think that that would be a lovely thing to do. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> when, are these separate? Okay. So here's some challenges, Cancer. Because in, whoo. I'm so pumped. You know what, Cancer? I'm actually really glad the Ace of Moons popped up. I just did the Ace of Moons and I had a had a I had a moment this weekend where I got affirmations from it. I, I, I did a reading and there was something in particular that I wanted to read here. I'm I'm so glad that this popped up. Where is it? This. And I don't think it I don't think it was this deck per se. I forgot which Ace of Desk Ace of Cups definition it was. But with the Ace of Cups, this was saying that I am a, I am, well, the affirmation that I got from this is, I am a vessel through which deep love flows. You know, like, and when I, and that to me, it just resonated with me because when I think of like, when it's like deep love, it's just like, there is just, Ace of Moons is just your cups, because this is the Ace of Cups in norm, traditional decks. And it's just like your, your cups are overflowing. There, there's, there, there's just boundless love to give. And I feel like the challenge is to tap into that, to understand, because sometimes I feel like we think that we're, we only have so much compassion or so much this or so much that, but cancer, we, and when I say we, I mean just all of us as beings are just, can be just, just endless, endless, sources of love and light and compassion and we can really really help some you know spread some healing around and or some healing energy around here cancer and and two you know 
it's it's again it's not just in everybody else cancer because some of us might think well like that sounds exhausting or just to pour out but it's like what if i run out then you know what fill your cup back up cancer because the nice thing about the ace of moons is it's one of those it's 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 always there if we take that time to nurture that that cup fills right back up and then when it overflows we take that excess and then we turn it into sunshine and then we shine light on some 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 situations here that that might that might have that might have hurt us any trauma you know that we may be dealing with it just it gives us more more tools to deal with that and it allows more more space to to heal that thing and then you taste it take this and i hope this is making sense cancer because it's like i really am so happy that this popped up because it just it gives you this this remedy to assuage any type of heartache it just it, it just brings you to this place of just solace and and calm i mean man cancer and and, and knowing that you you have that within you you know it's 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 definitely just it's just waiting to just be accessed and to pour it into you know that really cancer that just that just like lit my heart chakra up that was fantastic and i think that is something when you start working with that and you know really t start digging into that 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 all that love that you have to give cancer for yourself and for others you know it's it's i think it's gonna blow you away let's get some um let's get the last card here which is gonna be some oh some advice with working with this energy here so yeah higher self and thank yeah thank you higher self and thank you for this cancer because this has been this is a this is a lovely way I, th I think this is probably one of the better valentine's day that i think that i personally have had cancer i like just reading this energy this is fantastic and some advice cancer is you got the death card in reverse here and i know where it may sound kind of maybe kind of corny or maybe it's kind of cheesy where it's just like oh you know like let's let's just be all kind of kind of let's pour love and you know it can be i can get where it might sound like oh justin you're being a little hippy dippy or whatever you know but but cancer you know i feel like why again with this last quarter phase you know why does it have to be where we can't why do, why do we have to have so much love to give you know why does there need to be like a cap and again cancer it's not like I'm saying that you have to give all of it out to everybody, you know, but I feel like it, it, it's a balance. It is first starting here, you know, and healing all of this, you know, this, this takes precedence over, over everything, because if you're not right here, then, then there can't be any kind of, you know, the healing is not going to be at its, at its best, you know, like it's, you, you still got stuff you're dealing with. But once this is start, you know, when you start feeling that, that, feeling that healing happen you'll feel almost like a compulsion to help others you know and it's not like i feel like you're going to be like possessed cancer you know <laughs> love is not trying to possess you here but you'll just feel more more i think more willing or more just like it's almost becomes like a want to just like i you know that i feel this this peace this this bliss that i just want to spread that around for everyone everyone should feel ace of ace of moons and i really and i personally i do i feel like everyone should experience that and understand that they are this 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 vessel just full of deep love and just just there were there were a couple other affirmations i got from that too but that was that one really kind of spoke to me in a way because i remember i remember someone that I, I know they have um, they have a cancer rising and they had mentioned that they have they, they made a statement about only having so much compassion I was just like no you're limiting yourself you're putting a wall between you and your sunshine here there there's you can you can always shine as you know there's there's no limit to how how bright you can shine I, but I get well you know let me take that back there is if we tell ourselves that we can only shine so bright so i guess there can be a limit cancer so allow yourself to just to just shine endlessly you know just you know just boundless love but let's get into some oracle cards here cancer let's see what's going on with the in the oracle world here 
because this this is really nice and i really hope that you have just a lovely valentine's day and week with this energy because this is oh look at that answer reverse okay anymore all right cancer you got the witch heart here and i dig that let's switch back over because with the witch heart you know i feel like that I feel like really, we take, like I was saying at the beginning, <clears throat> you know, we take this one day to really kind of glorify love and to really um, make it like the highlight, you know, even for like the month. Okay, I'll give them like, sure, we're focusing on love for the month, but it's, it's more than just that, you know, love, love doesn't stop after February, you know, it's, it, it, and it, and it changes too throughout the cycles because you know, where, you know, there are some of us who may be resonating with like, oh, I only have so much love to give. And you know what, that's, that's fair. You know, in, in the cycles, you know, if you're, if we're at, let's say during the full moon, let's say you're not quite feeling at your, at your best, you know, it's like, okay, focus on you. But then if you're noticing during like the new moon, you're feeling more kind of excess and so what, and whatnot, pour that energy out, Cancer. See where, and, and, and pour that energy in where you want to, you know, maybe it can be, it doesn't necessarily have to even be like volunteering, you know, maybe it can be. I was thinking like volunteering for like like a like a soup kitchen or something, but it could even be maybe going around showing love for the earth, you know, maybe going around cleaning up, cleaning up, doing some like, you know, getting rid of like beach cleanups or maybe like litter on the streets or something along those lines, cancer. You know, maybe it can be, maybe, maybe too, cancer. It doesn't have to stop with people. Maybe you want to do something. Maybe you want to love animals today. You know, maybe this is something where you want to maybe go help at a shelter today. You know, I really feel like there are just, there's so many ways for us to express love. Plants, I'm, I was just looking at the, the plant over here. Plants, that's another one too, Cancer. Whatever, wherever you want to pour that deep well of love, just let the world feel that. Let the sun, sh the sun does not care where it's shining. It's just gonna shine everywhere, Cancer. So just do that, just, just shine everywhere shine sunshine and flood them with love and there's we're just we're covering we're just covering all of our bases here cancer everyone's going to just we're, we're just getting bliss and happiness before we know it it's gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be great and i don't even know if i finished talking about the death card you know i just i feel like that too cancer you know that there's just uh don't try not to resist this thing, you know, pour, pour some love into it. And I really feel like it's something, something fantastic can happen. Even how this energy li is lining up here, you know, the Ace of Moons is, is, you know, is being fueled or the King of Wands is being fueled by the Ace of Moons, you know, just even how you're looking at it here. So, all right, Cam, so I'm going to leave it there. Get you out there so you can spread all the love around. And I hope you like that. And I hope that made sense. So, um, Excuse me, give that a thumbs up if you like that thing, Cancer, and share this. You know, I think that we can just, just spread the love around Cancer. We can, we, we can really just help people just raise that vibration through to, to the, to the, through the moon, to the sun, you know, really can do some great stuff, Cancer. And then, um, if you haven't subscribed, hit that bell button. You'll get notified when I release videos each, each day. And then lastly, if you, um, you know how I feel about you, I'm just, or I'm assuming here because you've checked your sun placement, but if not, check your sun, your moon, your rising, check your chart, <laughs> just whenever you get a chance, Cancer, you know, no pressure. And then check out my other channel, Alchemist 8. I do videos weekly there. They have different monthly themes. It's a good old time, Cancer. And all that housekeeping, down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise card here. Well, surprise cards, so I can get you out of here. And man, Cancer, there's that Ace of Stars one. I think the Ace of Stars is starting to follow us around, which that's a lovely problem to have. <laughs> and then let's see what... Uh... And then we got the new moon here, Cancer. I love it. So... Cancer, 
and this may seem, how do I want to put this? I feel like, and it's, and it's just because I'm thinking about today, you know, I don't, this doesn't necessarily have to be your next new moon cycle, you know, goal, but I feel like cancer. If you were to t make it so that love, you know, if we can fuel love in what we're doing and and I hope that makes sense, you know, and being, you know, what like what, what guides you and what like what you're driving force, let that be love cuz I feel like that there is going to be an abundance that is coming in for you when when we do that and it's because when I th just looking at this little mix here the ace of stars and the ace of moons this to me the aces are new opportunities and you know are new new beginnings getting ready to happen here and I feel like one, if we're just pouring in just all just love cancer and letting that be just our guiding force, there's going to be so much fulfillment and so much abundance that can come out of this that it's, it can be unreal, you know, and it's and really it's abundance in whatever that looks like for you and whatever that you're trying to manifest in that because but I feel like, you know, if it's if it's coming from a resonance of love the universe is going to reward that. I mean, just tenfold cancer. It's, it's going to be just, just fantastic. So I think I'm going to leave that there, cancer. So stay safe out there. Enjoy, enjoy your Valentine's day and, and cancer. I mean, really just, you know, while you're spreading the love, keep eyes on the moon <laughs> and I will catch you on the next one tomorrow.